Jesus was at Cana of Galilee where He ordained marriage. So marriage is holy, the Bible says to us today. And this, this unity candle that you will now light symbolizes your families coming together. In Genesis chapter 3, Genesis chapter 2, God names Adam. Genesis chapter 3, Adam names Eve. But in Genesis chapter 5, God speaks over them both and He said, On the day I, I created you, male, female, created I you. He said, And I called your name Adam. God called Adam and Eve by one name, and that was Adam. That's what marriage is all about. You become one. You may not like you can.
And he said, this is my blood. Prophetically, he said, it will be spilled out for me. So you may now receive the cup. Teaching us what love really is. Love is sacrifice. Sacrificially you gave. And we thank you this day, Lord God. And I pray over this marriage, Lord, as they put you first. And they worship you alone. That you would bless them and that you would keep them. In Jesus' name. represent an ever-ending circle of love, commitment, devotion. Ben, what token do you have to express your love for Chelsea? They now place it on her finger. And Chelsea, what token do you have to express your love for Ben? They now place it on his finger. Now because you've chosen one another and honored each other with the precious gift of your rings and pledged your love to each other for all the days of your life, it gives me great joy to pronounce you as husband and as wife. Then you may kiss your bride. May God bless you. May the wings of angels uphold you. May you forever live in happiness. May your love grow strong. And may you live long and happily in one another's arms. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Ladies and gentlemen, you turn this way. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ben Millard Potter. <laughs> Kiss me all night. 